My dad opened the Italian Center Shop in 1959 and then spent the next 40 years bringing his vision to life. So when I took over in 2001, I was excited and nervous at the same time. Fortunately, I had a dedicated employee base, some who'd been with us for over 30 years. But I knew it was gonna be a challenge to go from owner's daughter to the decision maker. I knew it'd be difficult for them to switch their mindset and accept my new role in the company. In the early stages, I took on too much. I was reluctant or maybe too proud to ask for help. When I finally asked my employees for support, I was excited when they responded with enthusiasm. I quickly realized that my passion wasn't selling salami, it was growing people. After that, there was no limitations to where my business could go. By focusing my efforts on growing people, business took care of itself. It's so important to listen to your employees. They are the face of the company and they are the closest connection to your customers. Customers are your pulse check on how things are going and your staff interacts with them every day. After you've listened, then empower your staff to offer ideas and make changes. In one short year after I empowered my staff, they helped me bring forward my vision, something I could not have done alone. It won't be easy for everyone. Giving suggestions to the boss can make some people feel vulnerable, but it's often this type of input that is most valuable. And don't forget to reward your employees. My business needs to continue growing so that there be room for my employees to grow and advance. It's rewarding for them to make a difference and grow in their roles, and their dedication creates business success. Listen to them, empower them to be part of the solution, and make sure you reward their efforts. Making time to grow your people can be difficult, but the truth is that engaged employees are not just one of your assets, but your most important one.